Welcome back to MTG Grinders. I'm here with Trent again, and we're on round three, game two, with Lewis versus Matt. And Matt crushed Lewis in the game one. Crushed. You hear that, Lewis? Crushed. Absolutely beaten down by insignificant one-drop red creatures. And so let's see what happens in game two. Now, I believe Lewis has sideboarded in some anger of the gods to uh, board sweep and exile. And But look at this. He's already behind. There's a one-drop red creature on the side of Matt's field. Lewis is in trouble. What can he do? Oh, he finds a land drop, though. He's already got more land this in his hand and on the field than uh, he did last game, so... Yes, but note, both of his lands hurt him at this stage. He has to... Hey, he has to get an island here, correct? Yes. Seems like he would get an island. Yep. yep. A, a Just non... so he can... Pseudo have all three colours. That's in, that's in on the win again, though. He's, he's in front on land. And he's got more cards in hand. Just can't beat him. This kid's good. This kid is good. Shout out to Matt. Go, Matt. Well, he was about to come in with his, uh... You know, he went to his attack step With his there. dude there, but no. Oh, and a go! <gasps> he had nothing for the Seeker. That's how many red deck losers. When they don't attack, that means they lose, right? Right? Did it, I miss it, the memo? It's not a good sign for the red deck. No. Not a good sign at all. To, it's got to be Lightning Strike, right? Like, it doesn't make much more sense. Unless he's got, like, some sweet tech, I suppose. Well, I'd sort of think that if he had the Lightning Strike, he would have used it in his main phase. Here we go. In. He says no. He says, I'm going to block your seeker and I'm going to... I'm going to tighten strength my guy. So I'm going to make my guy a 4-2? 4-2. 4-2. I'm going to scry. And Lewis is like, yes, this seems really, really good for me. I'm going to allow this to happen. And they trade. That's sweet. Oh, good two for one there. And Really unfortunate that Lewis didn't have this, the lightning strike there to just mm. go strike... Get my life back. Yep. Get ahead on board. Um, he's got. You've got the the second seeker, although you do have to hurt yourself for that a little bit. Yeah. And Lewis comes out with the obviously the second seeker, and mm. he's going to try and look to gain some life off here. And life gain really is detrimental to the red deck wins. Absolutely. These these decks don't go too much longer either. They kind of. I suppose they can. They can go. You know. They can go like you know one four, ten. 40 like they can yeah. do that and stay if you can't deal with it but if you can deal with it then they just never get anywhere near yeah. the incremental numbers they want another block generally red deck not wanting to block but uh coordinated the salt there knocking out the second seeker of the way and um and red doesn't have access to a skull crack or flames of the blood hand no. or anything like that at the moment uh wild slash on a ferocious trigger can pr yeah. not prevent damage but that's obviously harder without, you know, the combination mm. of... Sorry, you need a combination of cards as opposed to just going, two mana you can, and damage can't be prevented. Yep. Now, Matt really, at this point in time, wants to stop drawing land. Yeah, he doesn't want to anymore. This deck would only play 18, 19. Didn't play many more, I don't think. Ooh, big stoke. <sighs> Matt just throwing resources around just to try and get ahead on board. It's actually worked. Lewis looks like he's down to... Three, two, three on the draw now. Three cards on the draw. Yep. Matt's only got the one card in hand himself. Mm, that's true. So a bit of reckless abandon there by Matt, but let's see if it pays off. Yeah, he's definitely traded. He traded two for one on the Seeker. Uh, I suppose the coordinated assault worked. Yep. Like that was a one for one. And the um, Stoke the Flames was also a one for one. So it wasn't too bad. Um, obviously getting ahead. And there's a Hall of Triumph. Traditionally, again, I said this... Brought, uh, before I was played in Mono Blue. Hmm. That uh, snaps the lightning strike response from Lewis and gets that guy off the field. And now it seems a bit top decky. Yes. For both, for both sides. So, which deck does a top deck war um, favour in, in this, between these two? I would hate to be mono red in any state, any given state in the top decks, unless your opponent, unless your job's. Done and your opponent's on three life. Although that's a storm breath dragon, so that's pretty pretty good from from Lewis. But yeah, I would like going back to what I was saying. I don't think Red wants to be in top deck mode ever, unless they just like. Ooh, he top deck stoked the flames to deal with the dragon though. <laughs> he slammed that down. Take he that. had it in his hand for about half a second. Take that, Lewis. There's a soul fire. Now there, there's a good there's a good anti aggro card. 
a bear with lifelink mm. and more text. Beautiful card. Another seeker of the way as well. Interesting Lewis doesn't just deploy that right there, just slam the door on that. <laughs> and a lightning strike as well. He's just top decking all the answers at this point. Ah, he wants to go time. for the Jeskai charm. Okay, sure. 40 you gain for maybe? I don't know if I just like playing the the seek this the second bear there. Yeah. And just not worrying too much about it. Because he's only got, I suppose he's still got two cards in hand, but he does have to replace two more removal spells on your bears. Yeah. Like, you can't, I suppose it's red deck, against red deck. They don't want to do that. I mean, Matt's done it all game. He's answered every threat that Lewis has played, and uh, Lewis has definitely been the aggressor. I uh, know Matt's holding a land in hand and something <laughs> else. Another Soulfire, still holding the... Uh, seeker. And there's a stoke. Oh, I was going to say, he's he top decked another stoke. Another stoke. Says no. Says, there you go. Take that. Have Just you run out of dudes yet? My my 20 points of damage that I've thrown at creatures. And Lewis goes. I could have went to your face. It's gone to creatures. And Lewis is gone. No, no. I haven't run out of creatures yet. I still got guys. Here's another seeker. That's Is that all of them? That's three seekers, two grandmasters, and there's one seeker left in the deck. And he says, okay, go. And Lewis says, okay, I think I, I think I win now. I think this is good. I think our window's open, and we're, uh, we're going to come in. And we're attacking for two. You would think that Lewis would deploy something here. Yep. Yep. Has to deploy something here. And so he can bounce back up to 18. No, he's going to go more. He's going to go deeper. Ooh. A dang, little, little bit dangerous, but then again, look, Matt's top deck's so much removal. Yep. He's got a brick eventually. So, so he's, had to, he's had to take two eight. for the uh, for the charm. Take two, gain four. So gains two, and Matty will take four, eight, eleven, and drop down to two. Yeah, dead, close to dead. Matty, what's Matty got? Matty, no, it's gonna no. He no, the scoop phase. Couldn't uh, keep up with the with the white weenie barrage. 